And we could improvise on this song with musicians who understand American music anywhere in the world because the harmonic progression is easy to comprehend. It's a grid, and that grid is standardized. Now, America loves simple blueprints. The standardized grid underlies everything from our voting ballot to skyscrapers to the distance between lines in our roads. Even malls provide a basic grid in some central location. Our understanding of that grid determines how successful we will be at finding what we want. So too, with the chord progressions of a song, the better you hear those progressions, the more you're gonna find the play. In our music, one section of the standard grid form is called a chorus. Like a block is the standard unit in a neighborhood. Most choruses have an even number of bars and are defined by a progressing harmony. For the duration of the song, those choruses are repeated as the soloists and rhythm section invent all sorts of new music. That sounds very complicated, but it's actually like a Lego set. The building blocks are very simple. The complexity is in how you choose to craft your structure. Legos can be used to form a bed, an automobile, I mean the little one, <laughs> or it could be Legoland, which is a big city, a building, a lot. We shape our music in the same way, with a succession of choruses. For example, this is the harmonic progression for one chorus of a well-known song. song that was? Anybody here can hear what it is? Who? What? Oh, who said that? Oh, they told us to. Somebody, somebody, see, you got integrity, you admitted it. It's happy birthday. <laughs> 